What's going on, guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys, but I've been busy, yo. What can I say? Uh, well, if you're like me, you've been stuck in the house with this pandemic. Well, I've been really been stuck. I've been going out doing stuff, but I've been, for the most part, stuck at the house um, trying to do my social distancing responsibility. So, whatever. All that good stuff. But I've been traveling around in the big fella. Uh, and I've been noticing that when I break at a high speed, I get a little vibration in my steering wheel. So all you car guys know, that's typically your rotors. And I know I just had a brake job done on this truck about at least less than 12,000 miles ago uh, by Infinity. So, and that was like a grand. I'm not really trying to pay that again uh, because I know this is rotors. And so what you, you guys may not know is O'Reilly actually will turn your rotors for you if you bring them to them and they are at the actual safe distance to where they can turn them and make sure they're evenly wearing or evenly uh, distributed. Basically, they'll turn your rotors for you for a lesser fee. Uh, we're going to head over, but first, we're going to take these things off. So, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I already got the driver's side off. Uh, rotor's right over there. Big boy sitting on the ground. And I uh, can walk you guys through what it takes to do the other side. So let's do it. So if you're old school like me, I like to, uh, even though I got jack stands under here, I like to stick the tire under there as a secondary measure in case anything fails. And the last resort is it falls on my tire. Yeah, it may, it may hurt one of the rims, but oh well, it saved something. <laughs> and it definitely won't allow this to fall on its, its side. All right, so this top bolt here is actually a 17 millimeter bolt down here at the bottom right here. So you take these two off, they're 17 millimeters. Then you need to take off this assembly bolt right here and the one down low. So it's four bolts total and these are 18 millimeters. So, uh, and also make sure you have a handy dandy wire hanger in hand because once you take this off, you don't wanna put any strain on the, uh, the brake line here. So you wanna basically just hang it up and be able to uh, keep it stationary so you don't mess anything up. And also, when you're taking this part off, be careful because once you take the bolt off, it likes to just fall off. You don't want that to happen. All right, so as you guys can see, there are like two clips here that's actually holding the pads in place. So, basically we can just take it out. tell i'm getting hot and um uh, we got it off so let's head over to o'reilly i'm gonna leave you guys here and i'll bring the rotors back and let you guys know what happened and how much it costs a few moments later your boy dumb nah i ain't dumb for real um so i get to o'reilly i get in we uh she's like okay we gotta pull the specs on the infinity or whatever and see what what it's gonna be like and whatnot um so we get the specs down she's like uh we measure the rotors. The thickness isn't quite where it needs to be. So she was like, I'm going to try to turn them anyway. Because she could tell, we both could tell, like, the rotors were like literally blue. And you could feel the ridges in them. So they were warped. Um, problem was, after she turned them, it was right there at the minimum spec. And that is not what I want to be riding, pulling the trailer, especially with this big fella. Um, I know we're on the corona lockdown or whatever. But once business picks back up, I'm going to have that trailer on the road. So... I was like, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and give me some new rotors. So, I bought new rotors. Um, so, of course, with that, I bought new brake pads. But it wasn't a good idea anyway. I came back while she was turning the rotors and looked at my brake pads. And they were actually, uh, you can see the, the contaminants in the pad. So, even though it had a lot of pad left, a lot of pad wear left, um, it's black like streaks and 
All it's going to do is mess up the new rotors if I use the old pads. So, word to the wise. If you're going to change the rotors, change the pads. And vice versa. If you're going to change the pads. Or if you're going to turn your rotors, still get new pads. But make sure you're going to... Um, so, let's change that. Let's fix that. If you're going to change your pads. Change your pads. <laughs> Brake pads. <laughs> if you're going to turn your rotors, change your pads. There you go. We got it. It's getting late, y'all. Sorry. Um, if you're going to change your rotors, change your pads. If you're going to turn your rotors, change your pads. Man, change your pads. All right, guys, what's going on? It's another day because I got on another shirt. Uh, it got too late last night, and, you know, with us being trapped in, got to make sure that the missus is happy. So I had to go spend some time last night. So let's go ahead and get this thing finished and get this thing knocked out. We got one tire done. As you guys can see, I got the hood up because... When you're um, putting these new pads on, you got to decompress that that piston, and you don't want to make sure that uh, you're not pushing a bunch of gas or uh, brake fluid back up through your system with the lid closed. So uh, we got a brake fluid reservoir open uh, to make sure we don't do any damage as far as pushing fluid back in. And uh, let's go ahead and get this thing knocked out because I'm ready to get this big boy back on the road. Let's go. You got the, the old, the new. The wear was actually lower than I thought. So here's where you need to compress these down. Typically what I use is a uh, this uh, C-clamp here. And I uh, use the old brake pads to compress them down. So use this old stuff. Before you start your car, make sure you pump your brakes to build back up that pressure because remember you collapse your calipers. Uh, once you do that, take your car down a maiden voyage. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get on a flat surface, 
go no more than five miles an hour just to test our brakes out to make sure we can stop and then do that a few times to warm the brakes up then get out on the road drive 20 miles an hour stop bring it on back home you're good to go all right all right so that's pretty much it so uh if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to. Uh, you can always follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. Ed Biv, Mr. Remote Life. So until next time, guys, I'll see you then. We got more stuff coming your way. All right, we out of here. Peace.